Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm an interior designer, my name is Nina Takish, and today we are stepping out of the Red Elevator, as you can see, to show you my amazing dining room transformation. You guys have been asking to see what I've done in there, and I'm about to show you the big, big reveal. Follow me. Since so many of you ask me, today I'm wearing a dress from Maj, spelled M-A-J-E, and my shoes are Bottega Veneta. Nina, what are you doing? Well, What's that? Hi, I'm taking my equilibrium. What's that? Daily drops. First of all, you don't think that I'm gonna go and film an entire segment without taking my daily drops? You are mistaken, because I get very stressed out, and hence I take my daily drops for women, by women. And what's great about these drops is basically it's full spectrum CBD, which I love because what it does is that it takes away all of my pressure and anxiety and it like centers me and it makes me feel calm for the day, for the filming, and there isn't a day that I don't take them. I also take at night, by the way, since you're asking, my um, soft gels, the soft gels I take at night before I go to sleep. You guys know how much I love Equilibria. In fact, it's on my website. I talk about it in my stories. It's on my Instagram page. Like I live for this stuff because it has really helped me. I didn't believe in it before. I thought it was all hype, but it isn't. It's fantastic. So you get personalized dosage support, which is really great. Basically you talk to someone about what you need and they're gonna help you. And I just can't imagine living without it. And that's what I'm taking. Thanks for asking. Welcome to my brand new, brand new, completely redone dining room. I have changed a few things in here, not all. The dining room table and the chairs are the same, but everything else has been redone. And I wanna show you guys, and I wanna know if you prefer this one or the old one. Hopefully you prefer this one, and I'm gonna show you guys why I did it this way and give you guys all of my tips as to how to create your own dream dining room. So the very first thing I did is that I changed the walls. The walls were just a paint, um, dark painted wall, a gray, as you can see from my last video that I did on this dining room, probably about a year ago. And now you're gonna see that they are a perfect color of white. I wanted to lighten this room up, even though I love a moody dining room. It still looks great, by the way, when you do a lighter color dining room, and um, dim the lights at night so you can get the moodiness and you like the light. But I just didn't feel how, I didn't like how dark it was in this room. So I lightened it up and I added all of this paneling. So this really made a big difference. A lot of people asked me on Instagram um, when I was doing this in my stories, they were asking me, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do. My handle is at Nina Takish because that is where a lot of my inspiration and my secrets come out. So um, I will tell you exactly how I did these. I had uh, my trusted uh, carpenter and painter um, put these on. And the way that he did them is that we chose, uh, I like to use half an inch or if not smaller, slightly smaller um, panels that basically uh, moldings that you just apply directly to the wall. We, didn't, we decided not to do the backboards because it's more economical and you guys know I love to save money or I like to be very um, efficient with my money. So there's no reason to do a backboard if you have an incredible painter, which I do, thank God. And so we added this half inch uh, molding that I will show you a close up of so that you can buy the same and just apply them directly on your wall. Staying true to architecture is one of my main selling points for my channel and the things that I teach everyone. And that is when you're doing your panels in any room, you want the first box, I call this a box, um, to be low so that it elevates your ceilings. I happen to have tall ceilings, but what if you didn't? You wanna keep these squares low to the ground. I've seen a lot of squares start here, chair rails that start here, basically at your waist height. I don't think that looks good. Um, if you look at old Parisian apartments, you will see that the first panel always starts low. So I recommend that you keep your panels low, the first one. And then the second one will start directly above it. 
You can leave it at that or you can add two additional ones like I did in this space. I had two large statues on the right and on the left here before and I eliminated those for now because although I love those statues, I wanted to give it a more airy feeling in this room and not so heavy. So that was eliminated and instead, um, I am I placed two sconces. Now, we just literally put these up yesterday and we're filming today and I realized that I'm missing light bulbs. So these are equally lit on both sides, but these are sconces from Circa Lighting. You guys know how much I love Circa. It's my favorite lighting store. And these are designed by Kelly Worsler, another favorite of mine. And so I've got four of these sconces now on the periphery of the dining room. The next big thing that I did was I changed out the lighting the chandelier that was in here. I had a pendant linear light, which was brass, and um, it was more of a box. And what happened was, um, although it was great when sitting down, when you stood up, you almost felt very much caged in. I wanted to, again, open up the space. I wanted it to feel a lot more airy. And so I changed the pendant to the Serge Mouillet. And everything, by the way, that's in this room will be linked below in the description box in case you guys want to peruse and look at them. But this particular light, the Serge Mouillet, sort of mid-century light, I think works great. And what really works great is, uh, again, the mixing of the, of the styles. As you guys know, I love juxtapositioning, you know, very sort of traditional panel molding with a mid-century light. I think that is great, same as the dining chairs. These are Louis chairs, you know, that are gold gilded. These are actually vintage chairs and um, they're actually very um, wobbly as well. So people have to be careful when they sit, unfortunately, but that's what you get when you're buying um, old vintage pieces. But when you mix these styles together, in my opinion, it is the best way to go about it. So I bring in mid-century and old Paris together and it looks great. Of all the things in this room that I love the most, or in this house, I should say, is my dining room table. I found this at an estate sale many years ago and literally bought it and put it in my house in the living room while I waited for this house to be built. And I, well, I'm in love with it. I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's this gorgeous wood that is enveloped by resin and it has brass inlay. So this table is going nowhere. In fact, when I die, I can be carried out of this house on this table because I love this table. It's going nowhere. And um, what I wanted to say is I do also have extensions for this table. The extensions actually clip on the ends of the table and not on the middle, which is really great. It was designed that way. And when we have more seating, I like to bring in my acrylic ghost chair. These are also vintage finds. It's the Z acrylic chairs that I found at an estate sale. I think I paid $200 for both chairs. I mean, it was one of, the, and they're heavy and they're the real deal. Today, if you were to find these, they would be thousands of dollars. But if you're lucky enough to go to state sales, you can, if you have the eye, which I know you guys do because you're watching this channel, you can find these things literally in your neighborhood. So I found these, which I think are great because when you want to bring in additional chairs and you don't have matching chairs, do not bring folding chairs. I just don't think they look great. At least you've got some acrylic chairs that you can put at the table for additional seating. These legs are by far my favorite decorative items. I have so many favorite items, but I love these. These were um, given to me by an incredible artist called Marcella Kier. This will be linked below in the description box. They are just beautifully done. They're heavy. I believe they're made of concrete. I mean, it takes a lot to, um, to move them. And I just think they bring that sort of artsy touch to the room. As is this beautiful photograph from Ben Bacani from Loomis Gallery, which will also be linked below if you wanna get beautiful original art that's already framed in this type of sort of floating glass. I haven't even had a chance to hang this up, but this is gonna go in the middle of this um, square and it's going to look great. I have my favorite vases that I have spoken about before. These are Leanne Ford for Crate and Barrel. I like to pick, you know, and put whatever fresh flowers I see at the market, just throw them in there. I don't like to overthink it. And um, I just think this is a great little niche. Last but not least, I have this uh, very old um, gilded table that I got again at another estate sale many years ago. It was upstairs and then I brought it downstairs because I just wanted to have some fresh flowers in this room. This table will move. It might not necessarily sit here. It's here today, it might be gone tomorrow. And that is the importance of interior design. Just because you put something in, in a place today doesn't mean it has to be there forever. I see people's homes that have objects in them that have literally not moved in 10, 20, 30 years. Move things around, play with things that you have. 
um, take things out, bring things back, and just have fun with it. And that's really the point. Thank you for joining me on this episode of my dining room transformation. I am dying to hear whether you guys like this one or the old one. Hopefully it's this one, but I wanna hear from you. So make sure and leave a comment. Please subscribe to this video and give it a thumbs up. That is really helpful to my channel and I will be bringing you more updates. We are going to be redoing many other spaces in this house and all other houses. Um, for my clients and I can't wait to show you guys more on the red elevator. So we'll see you again here next week.